game of the week. It is going to be an emotional one. Of course, you have the DeMar Hamlin uh, situation that, that took place last year in this game in primetime in Cincinnati. Uh, but the look ahead here, Buffalo and Cincy was the Bills, actually a slight favorite last week before this line got reposted on Sunday. Of course, what did we see? Well, Buffalo, eh, they struggled on Thursday against Tampa. They did win, didn't cover. And Cincinnati looked dominant. I mean, they took it right to the Niners on Sunday. There was no doubt in that game they were the better team. But the Bills do have the mini buy. Um, Chris, I'll start with you here. It, it, do, do we think that maybe, and I heard news this week, Josh Allen didn't practice today with a shoulder injury. Does that scare you at all, considering you're teasing up the bills in this spot? Uh, it's certainly uh, something for concern, but uh, I think uh, probably it's a precautionary uh, issue. I haven't seen anybody uh, indicating that it's anything uh, uh, to be highly concerned about at this point. Uh, this game really uh, is embedded in my brain from last year when we had that uh, um, unfortunate uh, injury that uh, yeah. you know prevented the finish of that game. I remember being on Buffalo and uh, uh, didn't feel like uh, things were going to go my way up uh, to that point in the game. So we're in a similar situation. Uh, my numbers... Uh, I have to give credit. You know, Cincinnati's been playing much better. I've been saying for a while uh, that they need to be able to demonstrate on both sides of the ball that uh, that they are able to pull it back together. You can't just automatically say, oh, well, this team's been great, you know, two years in a row, and they'll be great again this year. You know, you really have to depend on uh, what they are actually doing on the field. And Cincinnati is uh, doing it on the field very well lately. So they're trending up. It's a matter of concern for me. I've made, you know, sizable adjustments uh, co trying to correct it, but I still have uh, value with the Bills here. Uh, the, the Bills are back to the offense that they used last year, so it should be a higher comfort level for them, and uh, that bodes well for the Bills. I'm supposed to take this at the plus three if it if it shows up it's no longer there i skipped the plus three and i just used them in teasers and uh as i mentioned previously i have them tied in with uh, cleveland mm -hmm. in a teaser and i do like that quite a bit i think this game should be close and it, it's just preferable if the line were to come back up to three again i would still prefer the teaser so this is the case of a game where I agree, absolutely, I prefer Buffalo. I'll explain why shortly. But in terms of um, optimal betting, the line's two and a half, and it looks like threes might pop up. And I'm like, ooh, give me some bills plus three. But you know what? It's fine because it's clear three, three is pie in the sky. It's never going to appear unless Josh Allen doesn't play. And the money's you know coming in on the bills now. So um, fine. We'll just, we will tease Buffalo. I'll tease them you know with the Saints as a play um, in terms of comps, we like talking about homes, you know, comparing comparable homes and is it too expensive? Is it cheap, et cetera? Well, we have a pretty good comp on this game and the comp is Buffalo at Cincinnati, the Hamlin game. Well, the bills were laying minus 2.75. What do I mean by that? The bills were minus two and a half and then people were betting. They're cutting in line to bet the bills up to minus two and a half, lay a dollar 20 and minus a dollar 25. Well, now the line's two and a half again, only, the Bengals are favored. So I ask you, gentlemen, I know the Bills have underperformed. What have the Bengals done for their body of work this season to warrant a five-point line move? I granted it's through the zero. I mean, the Bengals are worse than what we expected. At best, the Bengals are what we expected when the season started. They certainly aren't better. Are the Bills five points worse or four points worse? No. So value on the Bills. See, all of that sounded really great from a value perspective, but I've got Joe Burrow on, on my team, and that's why I'm betting on the Bengals. And, and, and I think, and here's, from a va again, from a value perspective, I agree with Steve. There's not much value, especially if it gets to three. If it gets to three, do not bet Cincinnati. If at two and a half, I think you could, you could make a case. But the follow-up I have for you, Fez, I'm seeing Joe Burrow right now 24 to one to win the MVP, and Josh, Josh Allen significantly ahead of him in the market. If, if the Bengals look like they looked last week, and he has another big game against a Super Bowl contender. Is that a number that's going to move considerably, you think, to next oh, week? Oh, mass massively. Absolutely. And, and yeah, yeah we, 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 almost to the point of 
who should be favored, and one guy is twenty four yeah. to one, and the other guy is like some you know tiny number, right? Yes. Yeah, I think if if you're gonna bet the Bengals this week, and you don't want to bet the Bengals this week because of what Steve just said, there's not a lot of quote unquote value, but you still think they're gonna win the game. I, I think that's the next best wager to make in my eyes. Put a little sprinkle pizza money on on Joe Burrow to win MVP because if they win this game, they got a tough stretch coming up. So he'll have a chance to play all those teams and all those quarterbacks in front of him for the most part. But, um, man, Joe Joe, and that offense, they look ready to go. And they Somebody were asked Super Bowl uh, about a divisional future in the Bengals. Uh, and last year that was a darn good play. But the situation here, before you jump on those long odds, Cincinnati's 0-2 in the division already. They're yeah. behind – Baltimore several games and Baltimore has already played all their divisional road games. So Mm -hmm. Baltimore gets all their divisional games at home going forward and uh, they're two and one coming out of that. So that's a tough steep hill to climb over. And if you're thinking the Bengals are going to win the division, you know, I love, I I, I agree. I think that's a great way to look at the market. Fez, go ahead. I I love your proxy of, I mean, Burrow isn't going to win the MVP if they lose this game. But why yeah. why bet the Bengals minus 135 when I can bet the Bengals – when I bet Burrow 24-1? to 1 And look at his competition. Mahomes has shown ch- chinks in his armor. Hurts yep. is injured. Cousins yep. is, you know, Out. doing charity work at, at Minnesota Hospital. So, I mean, you, you, you've you already got a lot of contenders that, that, that are on the side of the road. And they play the like, Chiefs in a couple weeks. Like the burned Bengals out the Chevrolet's, Chiefs in two weeks, right? The, the highway's jammed with broken heroes already. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I think that honestly, and we're not, I'm obviously would not give this out as an official play on the show, but I will be taking a small slice of Burrow MVP. At, I saw here at Circa 24 to 1 this week. I think that is a, uh, that's worth a little addition to the Futures portfolio as we uh, look ahead into what could be the Bengals stretch run. But in terms of official plays for this game, um, we're kind of trying to thread the needle here. Uh, Fez and Chris are going to tease Buffalo up to eight and a half, and I'm going to take the Bengals minus two and a half because I think Cincinnati, right now, if you ask me who wins the Super Bowl today, the Super Bowl is played today, I would take the Bengals right now. I know that sounds crazy, but I just think Joe Burrow's got this swag, man, and the other teams in the AFC have shown some chinks in the armor. Don't trust KC fully. Don't trust. But oh, did you bet it already? Yeah, I just You're going to move the it. number on me. <laughs> Jared, you know, I, I, it's funny because I got I got a buddy that does shows, and all the time he recommends bets. If you, I, I, I you take a hundred for me, just text me. Um, the uh, and I tell him all the time, you can't you can't give something out that's good and expect the number to stay. I mean, we've got exactly. we got sharp guys listening in. You know, they're going to take out the number if you if you recommend a good bet. Hundred percent. And now I got to see how much this guy just moved the number on me as we go forward here. Um, now, this uh, will no, be interesting. Circa, I, I bet a nickel. Be so h- how much does Circa move on a five hundred dollar twenty four to one bet? I would guess they, they didn't move it, but I just bet it for a hundred and I oh, got twenty four to one. Okay. So we're good. <laughs>